Hey everybody, Dr. Options back here at uh, Gila River Lone Butte. Um, just sat down to the table that I was at. Oh wow, look at this. So at yesterday, kind of interesting. Um, I had noticed the past few times when I've sat at this one, it has disproportionately had a come out. Here it is, well, here's one. That's a hard way. So, this is actually a viewer request I think is intriguing, and what I'm going to do is we're going to load up to play a little bit. Once we get a bit of a feel for the table, which as we know it doesn't take that long for me to do that, um, we're going to juice the bets on the come out. See how that works for us. Definitely juicing the horns. Uh, has worked very well, but uh, let's see, we're off at this moment. Let's go. And let's get six. Okay, so I wanna just get a couple of rolls in here. Make sure that we're not gonna walk into like a skiz out situation or something, because I haven't been playing. But the next one, we're going all in on it. So let's just, what are we doing? Oh. And six hit the point. Oh wow. Okay, so I guess that means we do it on this roll. That was quick. Goodness, that happens to me a lot, doesn't it? Um, let's see. So we. Okay, so the reason I kind of like this style is it suits me well because it is very efficient. Um, I'm not big on spending like hours in the casino, so I can get my shots in and then uh, hit the road if things go well. Um, I don't have to be right as often, so it, and also when you shut your bets off and so forth, that does give you maybe a false sense of security that you're in a little more control than you are. But um, I, I like this system for that reason. So we're going to be on on this come out. Obviously, we're maxing those. The standard 11 on these. I got to say, we're coming up on kind of a milestone, too. Um, what do we think's coming? Ooh, look at that six kids. That's a little scary. I'm thinking eight. So we're going we're gonna to go lowest on let's go lowest on the four because we have to make those difficult choices uh, we think the eight's coming let's do it so juice that one embrace the hand pay if it comes that's what i say and then uh, what do we got here 24 left, so 2482. Uh, this will be interesting. Right out of the shoot. Okay, let's roll. Oh, hard eight, baby. There, we, that's what I was talking about. Hand pay it. Hand pay it. That's what I was talking about. So thank you to the viewer with that suggestion. But we will be back when I get this. That was beautiful. Okay, so he's off. The guy just came. He was really quick. That was nice. Uh, bye bye, please, please. Bye bye. Okay, so he was processing that. So wow, that that could not have worked out any better. That was the plan. Like, wow, what the hell? So that was one roll 149. Um, what a hit. Good one. So what do we got going here? I'm a little disoriented from that. But wow, that that was exactly the plan. Like, that's what we've been seeing. Let's see if it worked. And wow, it did. That does, That's uncommon, huh? Okay, so we got to go a little bit more on the 8, of course. Got a little extra there because, wow, what a hit. And six. We know it's hitting the six. So let's just kick that up a bit. 
Get there. Let's roll. And, oh, let's get that. Hey, how are you? Oh, somebody came. Somebody oh, took care of you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the skid's out. Oh, well. Not bad timing, frankly. Oh, do we? Do we juice it here? Oh, that's a good question. Look at this. Yeah, okay. You know what? Let's juice it. Let's stick with the, the play. Clear. <laughs> this is roll 150. So I've been, I, I put together a uh, sheets spreadsheet of all the entire roll history. I'm going to link that. Do a community post with a new graph showing how the last, you know, all the rolls have gone. Um, since I started doing this. It's pretty interesting, um, especially for you stat geeks like me. It's also kind of interesting to see how sustainable this is. I mean, I hit a crazy streak to start and then another crazy streak in the midst of it, winning 48 of these in a row. So somebody made a really nice comment to me that um, really did hit home on one of my videos about um, kind of my style of play and this is my style of play so don't get me wrong I love Greg Uloho's videos I like the mass max uh, power pressing style that he uses I just can't get rolls like him and so that's why he, obviously he's the goat because he gets those um, I think it absolutely could be implemented pretty easily by me if I were to just take the 2x and, and run um, and lower and repeat um, that's a grind, takes a long time, not not really my preferred style. Uh, let's see, so... So I really do like this for that reason. Um, I think the six. Let's go with the six. Right. But, uh... Wow, the volatility of this, if you get... I mean, I, I was on a bad stretch, that's so why I took a little time off. Guys, that definitely paid off in the last video. Okay, so that gives us 24.85 again on the come out here. Right? We're on. Oh, shit. Get the lucky. Ah, I gotta get the lucky out there. Okay, so 24.85. Let's go. Oh, 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 Flaccid. Flaccid, get off of that. That was horrible. Seven, seven, 150. Seven, roll 150. Alive, Just like roll 100. Bit us in the ass. Oh, well. Let's get back in there. Let me reload. Get this hand pay and we'll be back. Okay, we're reloaded. Got the hand pay. 14.15 on that. Um, that was an unfortunate roll. Gotta say. I actually kind of, for you hardcore people, it, like... Hunter Killer 13 is like that was textbook Bill Gittins. Like I should have gotten off there technically. And then this is this is a dicey roll, so I'm sure they're hating this, but I'm gonna do it again. I hated the flaccid roll there, that was really unfortunate. Uh rough way to end the 150, but we're gonna keep going. Let myself have two two losers if it happens. Sometimes they do run in streaks, but let's see a big bowl. There we go, good And an eight. Okay, so we gotta keep playing a little. So we got a good, decent win out of that, right? Look at that eights and sixes. Yeah, let's kick these guys up a bit. There. Yep, let's go. Oh. Not a fan of that flaccid roll. Okay, keep going. Add a bump that bump the five. Let's go. Oh, 11. Killed the lucky. 
print out their nice ticket. What do you guys think? You know, let's just repeat the bet. Horns can be a little dicey. We haven't been playing that long. We know that we'll bring a nine sometimes. So uh, let's, let's bump that. Yeah, let's go. And the three. Oh, went, went down low. Let's kick those up. Let's go again. And six. Do that five one. Take that to 55. Hmm, are we looking? Let's put six last time. Let's do it. Ah, oh, this gives. A little bit. We built that pretty decent up to 207. That's where the power pressing gets a little tricky, right? Uh, let's see what we got going here. Let's get back in. Maybe try to get one or two more good rolls. Oh wait, this is this is the bet. Okay, so let's do it. Let's let me let me load just a second. I forgot to. Oh shit! I forgot to turn the recording back on. Damn it! You guys missed a max roll. I hit a snake eyes. Actually, I think you missed two max rolls. I hit a snake eyes for 750. Rolled it right back. This it was this stretch. Shit! I am. Ah oh, crap! So I rolled it on the come out here. Hit the snake eyes for 750. That's this ticket. Ah oh, man, that sucks. Then we had to go again. So we rolled and hit it again, hit the nine. It went a few rolls, gave us this. We just hit that seven. So I think we're gonna call it a session. That's, damn, I missed two good rolls though. Um, 
well. You know what? Don't lock the machine, please. Oh, it did. Oh, it cached it, though. It didn't lock it. They fixed that glitch. Nice. Okay, we're going in. I feel so shitty that I missed that. This is going to be... I'll put the rolls in the data. Um... But damn, I missed those on camera. I got nines coming this time. Play the lowest on the four again. I don't think you've even seen one on this session, have we? So that actually, the fact that they fix that glitch makes it much easier um, for me to load this. I didn't realize I can actually go over and not have to be too worried about it. Five on the lucky, yeah, 200, 200, 200. Working the max there. Man, I missed two of them. Two successful ones on camera. That sucks. So 2,500 on the nose. Is that right? We're on. Let's go. And the four hit the littlest, okay. So you, you guys got to see a pretty decent hit there. Oh, but man, you missed two others that were nice. The, the snake eyes was a good one. Uh, we'll just play a little place close. Bye bye. Three there. Hard 10. Oh man. That would have been a nice one on the last roll, huh? Okay, so let's cut these up a bit. Okay, extra five on those. What we got? Let's get the tin a little higher. Okay. 10 again. Oh, a nine. That, that was almost another 10. Let's repeat the bet. Um, keep it working. Twelve. Some box cars. Okay, so that prints the ticket. I think we got to just keep playing a little. Finish this rollout. Maybe we'll hit something good here. Kick the horns up. Let's go. Hard six. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Keep it going. Let's kick the eight up too. We got a little extra to work with on that. Hard six has shown its face. Let's go. Ah, oh, skiz. So we've been battling pretty, pretty hard, but I would definitely say the max rolls uh, saved us. So we're gonna call this a session because we did hit several skizzes. See, that's the point is like, if I was playing a, a hard power press style like that, I wouldn't have really had a very good session. Um, would have been pretty awful. So, wow, lots of tickets. I cashed in a couple of them already to get more to load in the machine. So this is a little guy, um, but we will be back I appreciate the support. You guys take it easy. Doc out.